So I so like it, bro. Come on. I be having trouble with my with my thing, man. Okay. I want to play this video first, okay, real quick. Hold on, let me just go ahead and do it. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rikach, Kudash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100 truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elected visuals pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the 130 visual who believe in the word and follow the land wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all. Play this video. Okay, this is weird, but I got to get it off my mind. So I had a dream a couple days ago that the U.S. was, like, on lockdown and under governmental control. And we also had these, like, chips in our wrist that were used to, like, track hold us on, on. and see what we hold did. On. Listen, I want to, uh, I'm going to find it real quick on the uh on this other phone because i want y'all to be able to hear it just in case i don't know if this uh i haven't used this this app in a long time uh the screen recorder in a long time so i want to make sure that you're going to be able to hear it so i'm going to play it through the microphone on this other phone okay let me get it real quick okay this is weird but I hold on and play okay, okay this, this is, is weird, weird but, but i gotta, I gotta get, get it out my mouth. so i had a dream a couple days ago, days ago that the u.s was like on lockdown and under governmental control and we also had these like chips in our wrist that were used to like track us and see what we did on a daily basis and also for us to like go in and out of working and in the dream it was me and my child like standing there in line behind all of these people. And all of us were like walking up to the kiosks and like going boop, saying our wrist um, to go into like labor, basically. So I don't know, I guess it was like a labor camp that we were set up in. But it was just very, very odd. So I don't know, I don't know. I'm just documenting that I had that dream because I don't know, God always talked to me in dreams and showed me things. I'm not going to say that this is going to happen or whatever, but I do and have been dreaming for a while, as well as my son, that we are going to have some type of like civil war in this country, um, and also some type of like stage of a world war or, I don't know, something, basically something where it's going to be us versus the Chinese, and very odd, very weird. Personally, I try not to get wrapped up in the scary side of things, but I don't know, I did have a dream. I just want to let y'all know. Just prepare. Have your stuff, like your kits, medical kits and stuff like that. And for all the people that um, follow me for like labor and delivery content, in the event of an emergency, I am going to share like stuff that pregnant people should have in the event, in the event excuse me, of an emergency. But anyway, I just want to tell y'all about the weird dream I had. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it can't ever be too safe. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, I just want to do a quick video about that, man, because, uh, you know, it touched me because I was like, uh, <clears throat> Right off the bat, I put this comment up here. You know, this two-third. This two-third had a dream. She had the MOTB and didn't even know, didn't even have a clue of what it was. You know, we out here in the highways and hedges proclaiming this word of truth. But it just goes to show you that, uh, you know, Yahweh Shemashah is going to have mercy on who he's going to have mercy on. But in her dream, she actually said she had the CHIP. And she didn't even know that it was MARK like it was no, no big deal to her. She went. To, she was going to work. She and her, her and her child had it, and it's just fine, you know. And the brother put up. You saw how the brother put up uh, Jerem, uh, Revelation chapter fourteen, verse nine, which speaks about if any man take the M E R K and receive his worship the beast, and take the M E R K in their hand, the same shall you know be cast into the lake of fire. Roughly paraphrasing, but I put here Jeremiah chapter four, verse twenty-two. For my people is foolish. That's the first thing that popped in my mind. You know, we out here telling you that you're the Israelites, telling you the spirit of prophecy. Telling you to return to the one true living God and a prudent man foreseeth the evil. 
but these Israelites out here just threw. Hey, also, you know, th that was my second time watching that video. And you know what I got from it the second time? I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. How uh, that shows you also that the man is the head of the house, is the head of the woman, you know? You know? Uh, well, not, you know, I'm just saying, she, she didn't make it sound like she had a, a man because he was talking about her and her son. She didn't say nothing about her husband. Then she went on ahead and started talking about, talking about as if she was already pregnant again. You know, but where is it? Where, no mention of the daddy or nothing. You know, she's talking about making preparations for such and such and such and such. But you just had a dream that you were fine. You you know, you're still able to buy and sell because you got the M-A-R-K. You know, for my people, it's foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish children. They are they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, bro. To do good, to re simply repent to the one true living God, to seek the Lord's face. That's, that's another scripture I wanted to get. Seek the Lord, you know. With all your heart. Seek him while he may be found. You know. Let's go get that. Seek the Lord while he may be found. And they. they you know. And, and what gets me also. It's like. This, these, these words are faithful and true. Because. On one hand. They speak. About the Lord. Yahweh Shem Oh yeah. God gives me all these dreams. But they don't even know who the Lord is. That's why that, that scripture popped in my mind. My people. They're, they're sodders. They have not. Known me. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord. But it also goes, Salaki man, but it also goes into uh, their understanding because it got to keep coming out. That no man comes to the Son unless the Father draw him. No man goes to the Father unless they go through the Son. We're not talking about no JC. We're talking about a great awakening that we are the Lord's chosen people. The truth about the scriptures, who the Messiah really is, who the one true living God really is, Yahweh and the Yahweh the Almighty, his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon he, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. You know, when you return, you are the Lord's chosen people. Be, be, uh, these other heathens, you know, this word is only for you, children of Israel. You cannot return to something. That you've never been a part of. And we were the ones that received the laws and the commandments. We are the Lord's chosen people. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 2. You know. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God. For he will abundantly pardon bro. You know. And with that return. Comes everything that you need to know. I want to go get. Uh. <clears throat> Simply this. It's not gonna. It wasn't be a long epistle at all. I just wanted to do that. Do that uh, because there was a lot in there. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna watch it one more time. Isaiah chapter thirty-three, verse six. It spoke of um, wisdom of Solomon. Salaki man. I'm going. I'm gonna mile a minute here. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. To know what times we're living in. To know what the M E R K is. To know. What the prophecy speaks about to know that the Lord said, you know what, you don't have to, you don't have to take that. You better actually, you better not take it. You better return to me and let me protect you. You know that uh, that um, that Psalms ninety one. You know, you better return to me. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and what hideth himself. This is the time to hide yourself under the wings of the Almighty. Psalms chapter ninety one verse one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh He's my refuge and my fortress, of my God, and Him will I trust. You know, we're not trusting on Esau or his system. We just did an epistle about that. This system is not for you. Oh, that's what I wanted to make mention of from that from that girl's dream, that lady's dream. Shit, it's gone already. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. That Esau just simply wants to make everyone a perpetual slave. You say she say we were in a labor camp. We had to scan in to go in there and to the, do the work. He wants to make everyone a motherfucking perpetual slave, this damn devil. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. You know, these traps that Esau's got set up out here. And from the noise and pestilence, the nuclear destruction that's about to destroy Babylon the Great. And he shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You know, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. You know, and strength of salvation. 
thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by day. Like there's a lot of people that was they you know nor here it is nor the for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. A lot of people were terrified about the news from Esau about the uh, the medicine, you know about the I mean the uh, the the you know what I'm talking about the plague. The plague, you know, everybody was scared. People wearing masks, diaper face all over, up and down the place. People running to get the juice. But because of this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, because we seek the Lord's face, because the Lord has blessed us, surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveals his secrets unto his servants and the prophets. We know, bro. Nor for the pestilence that are walking in darkness, nor for the destruction that wa wasting in noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. The Lord is getting us built up right now. To get prepared for this time of Jacob's trouble, to get prepared for great death, to get prepared for concentration camps, to get prepared for martial law, to get prepared for teeth of wild beasts, to get prepared for famine of food, to get prepared for war, to get prepared for uh, the, the slain of the Lord shall be many, to get prepared for the, 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 the deliverance, to get prepared to, to stand up and resist. He said, because you've kept the word of my patience, I also shall keep you from the hour of temptation. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh thy refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. That's right, we live with Yahweh He said, I'll be in you, and you'll be in me. We are the temple of the Lord. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash their foot against the stone. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there, bro. Because, you know, and that, I just I just had to make a, a short epistle okay, about this. Okay, this is let's, weird, let's but I got to get Hold it off my mind. So I had a dream. Phone. Uh... Hold on. Come on now. Okay, this is weird. But I a couple days ago. So I had a dream. That a couple days the ago. The U.S. was like on lockdown. The U.S. was and like on lockdown. Under governmental control. Martial law. And under we also had control. these like chips and in our wrist. That like we used to like trackers and see what we did on a daily basis. And also for us to like go in and out of work. And also for us to like go in and out of work. And also for us to like go in and out of work. Look, she's saying it like it's not so big deal. Because she had no idea. And I was like, I'm going to the kiosks and like going to the kiosks and like going to the She's showing you her wrist where she had it at, bro. She's like making the motion like this is reliving it. I don't know, I guess it was like a labor camp. It was just very, very odd. So, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just documenting it out. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm just documenting it. I don't know. God always talked to me in dreams, dreams and me things. I don't know. God always talked to me in dreams. I'm not gonna say that this gonna happen things. or whatever. But I'm not gonna say that this gonna happen or whatever. But I do and have been dreaming for a while. Well as well as my son. I do and have been dreaming for a while. As well as my son. That we are gonna have some type of like silver war. Um, and also some type of like stage of war. And also some type of like stage of war. I don't know. Stage of war. Basically something where it's gonna be us versus the Chinese. Something basically something where it's gonna be us versus the Chinese. And personally, I try not to get ripped up in the scary side of things. Personally, I try not to get ripped up in the scary side of things. But I don't know. I did have a dream. And I just want to let y'all know. Just prepare. Have your stuff like your kids, medical kids and stuff like that. Have your stuff like your kids, medical kids and stuff like that. And for all the people that um, follow me for like labor and delivery clinics, in the event of an emergency, I am going to share like stuff. In the event of an emergency, I am going to share like stuff that pregnant people should have. In the event, excuse me, in the event, excuse me, of an emergency. Being like that, 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 being Anyway, I just want to tell you about that weird dream I had. Not saying that it's gonna happen, but can't ever be too. You got Revelation 13 and 16 and 17 and 18, and then Revelation chapter 14 verse 9. You know, giving you the warning. And I want to get one more scripture and close it out. How the Lord's gonna pour out His Spirit on all flesh. I thought that was very spiritual. How, you know, she received the dream that she actually did take the MERK. Wow. That's why, man, we're hoping to be a part of that number, bro. We're just hoping to be delivered. I want to get the one in Joel. 
Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and it shall come to pass after, after that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions bro okay so with that I'm going to put this uh, I'm going to put her epistle her uh, testimony of the dream in the description box from the brother uh, this is from the brother GMS Strictly Testimonies, and it looks like he got it from Endure These Last Days 4. I'm going to put the links in the on the comment board. So, with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rikach, Kudash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and the 130 of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all.